Hey guys, welcome to another English commentary done by Diggity. This match is going to be part of the MSL Round of 16 Group C between Memory and Jangbi. Pretty exciting group. Both these guys, pretty solid players. Memory not as good, a little more suspect versus Protoss, but a very creative player overall. He's starting at the 12 o'clock position in pink. 6 o'clock location, we have Jangbi in orange. And doing this commentary solo, a lot of people have been asking, the reason I'm doing this, a lot of people have been saying, oh, where's Diggity? You stop commentating games altogether. You're totally AFK. And I feel the love because uh, I know people, they're saying, oh yeah, do solo commentaries again. Most of the commentaries I've been doing recently have been duels or triples, and they've been all up on Violetac, so check that out over there. Mostly with Cholera, mostly with Moltrap, but a couple other surprise guests mixed in in between. Uh, and otherwise, I've been kind of busy running the charity tournament, which again, you can check out at sc2gg.com backslash endurance. We're currently at $710. I'm going to throw in some new prizes to the top donor. The, the current top prize, which most people weren't excited about, was uh, was uh, a, a, the top two donors get to Team Melee JF. And I can understand where that would not be appealing for some people. I would have fun just getting beaten the crap out of uh, by JF, but uh, I can see where some people wouldn't find that appealing. Therefore, I'm going to adjust it. Cholera and Moltrap have agreed that you can pick any two or three, whatever, however many commentators you like, and we, you will be able to do a commentary with us, the top donor, and also an SC2 beta key uh, provided by Peanut. So SC2 beta key, uh, well, it's a beta key in general for whatever beta is going to be open for Blizzard coming up here a post, and I think it's November 13th, but uh, anyhow, point being is, is I, I hope that motivates the donations, and it's for a good cause either way, so I say donate, and specifically the small amounts are what I'm really looking for. A lot of people donating small amounts, I'm hoping to raise somewhere around $2,000, we're already a third of the way there, so uh, looks like we're going to see pretty standard tech build from Jangby putting down that uh, that gateway and then gas, sneaking that probe in, going to get that scout off. It's a two-player map that does open up opportunities for cheese. We're seeing a pretty standard opening though from memory. Memory very good with dropships, that is basically his MO. But honestly, I don't know that he's going to need to do to, to employ dropships on this map. A pretty Terran favored map, in my opinion. Not a lot of resources around, and you've leading out of the base. You've got that. Uh, you saw that that kind of dual pronged highway thing going on. We've seen that on several map features. Basically, you've got the little small strips of land, which makes it very difficult for Protoss one to push in, and two keep Terran out. And that's all over this map, which just makes tanks so so powerful. So honestly, Jengbi's going to have his work cut out for him. Although Jengbi's just been just an absolute dominant player. This might be his MSL. He's been hanging around the past couple MSLs. I really felt like he got somewhat robbed by Cal. I thought he was a better player than Cal when they faced off in the round of four, and he ended up not advancing to the finals. Cal ended up getting absolutely crushed by Jadong that season. Looks like a zealot being sent out. But anyway... Point being, just overall though, yeah, solo commentary, guys, I feel the love, thank you very much. But again, uh, just in case you're wondering where the commentaries for the MSL and the OSL have been, they're up on Violetac. And otherwise, yeah, just been a little preoccupied with the uh, with that and WCG. I'd, WCG, there's several interviews that I'm hoping that will go out and that go up on the website. Uh, I'm currently, there's some holdups there obviously along the line, and I know a lot of people were disappointed by the lack of coverage. I, I wish I could have done every single game on stage. Unfortunately, only two ended up on stage. And even then, they didn't have soundproofing, so it made it very difficult, but we uh, fought. And actually, the Zealot going to push up. There's only two Marines here, so uh, and then the third Marine coming up. So it looks like JB is going to be able to penetrate, and at the very least, he's going to get a spot out and realize in proximity factory at the 6 o'clock location from memory in the meantime. So if he can hold this off, and this is going to require a decent amount of micro uh, multitasking at the very least. Uh, so And we'll see if JB continues with that pressure up. He's got that Dragoon at the 3 o'clock position, looks like harassing that SEV. Going to try to pick that probe off, going to try to box out, and he's put down, this is very gutsy, not building a Vulture, putting down a machine shop. He's going to uh, probably research something. His economy has been somewhat harassed pulling those 3 SEVs off. Nothing detrimental at this stage of the game. Two Dragoons pushing out. Oh man, this is going to be devastating if that Dragoon goes immediately to the south. Uh, but uh, knowing that it's a two-player map, it doesn't look like it's going to proceed to the south, so Memory still might be able to pull off this factory build. Again, a very very, very creative player. Another Marine being produced right there. Factory is, is up. We're going to see if Vulture is being produced, but there is well, actually no machine shop going down, but there is a Dragoon there. As you can see at that 6 o'clock location, there's that mineral patch that blocks that lower ramp, and we'll see what he can do with that. Robotics facility going up for Jangbi in the meantime. He'll probably go Observer first. Looks like he's got the range going as well. 
And we'll see what memory can do with this. So this is essentially a two-factory build, uh, a two-factory straight build. And Zhang Bi, this is really going to give a false impression to Zhang Bi. He only saw the single factory up. Engineering Bay going uh, going down as well to do a little bit of spotting. And he's showing it, basically he's showing a standard fast expand. He's got those Marine, that single tank. He's trying to give it an impression of fast, uh, fast expansion when he's really gone two factories. The question is, is how is, is memory going to get those exp that uh, those tanks up in the base? Zhang Bi taking expansion. I think he's got the four Dragoons out, and he's probably going to apply pressure. And I'm this is the key, whether we see the observatory out or whether we're going to see something else alongside. Maybe he can force it up that, I don't think he can do a mineral force up that ramp with that engineering bay. Maybe he can use some special map artifact thing. The probe scout coming around toward the six o'clock location. First tank has been produced. The question though is, is that probe is gonna scout it out. Now can memory defend it here? Uh, obviously he wanted to keep that hidden as long as possible. Jengbi has scouted that out, so nice. Nice persistent scouting there by Jangbi, almost map hackish, uh, but knowing he's playing, going up against a creative player, keeping up with the persistent scouting, that's really going to pay off for him. The tank is uh, is there at that location. It looks like a shuttle has been produced. Two dragoons there. That tank is gonna have to run, and we'll see if Memory can get some reinforcements there in time to basically save this tank. Uh, he's gonna have to press up to that location either way, simply to to keep that factory alive, because he doesn't want to lose that factory at this stage. There's you can see the two tanks, the four Marines, that SCV coming up alongside. That tank is gonna be huge though in that fight. Oh, and it gets taken out right there. So Jamie takes a pretty sizable lead. Uh, factory taking off and a second tank going to get taken out here. So, and actually Jamie leaving that expansion undefended. So memory might be able to take that out in the meantime. It looks like he's going to lose that uh, tank as well. But two tanks in exchange for an expansion. Memory will take that uh, any day of the week. But I think there's still going to be enough Dragoons between that sh and that shuttle. Jamie so good with that shuttle micro. He's been very strong against Terran lately. Uh, still being in a good position to take that out. Putting up a bunker uh, to, to put some additional pressure. And there's that robotics, um, that robotics support bay reavers have been produced and memory's gonna have to sacrifice this sacrifice this and he's gonna have to pull back here he hasn't floated out that factory yet uh, and maybe just counting on maybe doing a little bit maybe he thinks he can hold this but honestly I do not think so and now another tank getting picked off uh, a couple dragoons down by still think siege tech actually just kicking in a vulture coming alongside probes getting taken out this is a wild game a memory looks like he's gonna be able to take out a sign uh, not a significant amount of probes but four or five probes delaying this dragoons coming from the north though able to take that tank out so now Jing be taking an economic edge and really disrupting memory's game altogether memory again going for that two factory build and now he's got to worry about that reaver pushing in his base trying to land that factory backside jengbi's having none of that already has dragoons up on that location memory trying to looks like it's a starport down to help uh supplement tech maybe again gonna go back to his bread and butter which again is drop ships that factory is going to go down so that's just a waste of resources things not going well for memory at all things very much in jengbi's hands uh, and now with the, yeah i don't think he has enough to actually fend this reaver off he's got a single tank a turret that's not even up sorry two tanks and a single turret that's not even up and i I think Jane B, just knowing how good he is lately, is going to be able to do a lot of damage with this. Reaver Scarab! Oh, uh, where's it going to... Oh, it only gets three SCVs. That was actually... Uh, the Dragoon just taking absorbing hit there. Second Scarab going off, only taking out a single SCV. That could have been a lot worse right there for uh, for uh, memory and memory's got to be oh that could have happened right there and oh memory already behind economically already basically at two bases to one already lost a factory lost two tanks had his cheese completely disrupted this game is he's got to be so frustrated this game is, is quickly coming is unraveling for him out of hand here uh three gateways now up so jang b is going to be able to start producing a ton of troops he's got a, a decent sized tank force up now but Again, just lost so many SCVs. Now, I would say this game is outright, uh, just completely out, but memory, maybe you can seal in his base, at least go up the two expansions, do something from there. A Wraith pu uh, pushing out to help deal, I guess maybe do some scouting and pick off that drop sh uh, dropship. <laughs> now I'm reversing the uh, dropship uh, shuttle thing on the opposite end, so the maybe pick off that shuttle. I'm not sure why I keep doing that, but maybe pick off that shuttle out in the field if it gets lucky, but no, it looks like it's going to get picked off by those four Dragoons, which are going to continue, oh man, going to continue to apply pressure. And uh, honestly, memory has a skeleton crew as far as a defense force. Observer coming up alongside to, to kind of spot things out and see what kind of additional weaver harassment can be done. Memory in very much on the back foot, and he's going to have to. And there's speed shuttle upgraded. That's going to make that shuttle even more uh, more deadly. And you heard the Korean commentator say it's speed shuttle. Uh, that reaver, yeah, two reavers in there. Uh, that that first that first scarab's going to be a dud. Uh, second scarab a dud, fortunately. But again, this is resources that. Uh, and ooh, a little bit of a miss miss micro there, losing one of the reavers. But again, even if these reavers aren't doing any damage, this is this is economy that 
uh, memory can't afford to lose. That he can't, he, you just can't have SCVs off that expansion at this moment. JMB gonna go out and, and swing around that second expansion. Looks like this has actually been a pretty good SCV saturation there. I didn't see memory get that up. Another expansion going up for Jangby. Jangby just solidified.